Hello there, everybody. I'm Saban Knight, 2 aka Nightmare, and apparently I missed this. Damage dodge. Decrease damage by one with the guard action command. Okay, cool. Anyway, I'm back with Paper Mario. I need... Wait. I know that's a hole, but I wonder. Ah, damn it, I got my hopes up. Anyway, I'm gonna go over to Hooktail's castle, so I'll be right back. Okay, while I am here, I may as well see what he can do with this bouquet. Oh, fine weather sure does lift the spirits. What's that? You need a dried bouquet? Oh, I have a dried bouquet. Good grace, too bad. Come back. I have a dried bouquet! You told me to come back! I'm going to murder you. Do I have to bring him a fucking hot dog in order for him to actually do that? I'm not bringing him a goddamn hot dog. I mean, I, 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 I might want to go back to the Blitz Pit, but we're going to do that whenever we do, like, extra side quests up before I finish the freaking game. Ugh. God, I'm gonna kill that flower. Well, oh, come back. I have a dry boot. I have, if you have a dry bouquet, there's something you can do. Bull shite. Oh, by the way, don't ask why I went the long way around. Actually, I'll probably add that. Fuck it. Oh. Hello. Yeah! Hell yeah! Hmm. What the fuck was that? I have no fucking idea. Even that, that was weird, even for me. Up arrow. It's unclear what this means. You can ask someone. Up arrow? Uh. The fresh hell is that? Okay, um. Hmm. Let's head back, Mochi. I bet you that, uh, that sorcerer probably has an idea about what this might be. Oh, right! Um, speaking of magic, I actually went back, and what I did was I went ahead and grabbed the, um... I, I went to the, uh, the cute little, uh, sorcerer lady, and chose the special deal for 50 coins. So now, I guess, I got special perks. So that's a positive. Now I just gotta get all the way back home. Hey, dude, I got the thing. The partners will make a power up. But I got the arrow thing. What's this? An up arrow? Hmm? An up arrow? Up. Of course! Hmm? This is the Ultra Stone, so that is what the star sign meant. I picked this up at the flea market years ago and forgot it was in the attic. With this, I can power up your partners even more. Oh. Stage two. Nice. That is a translation for um, Vivian upgrade. We are cooking now. Let me know when you want me to power up your allies more. How many will it cost? The Super Magician, so which part would you like me to power up? I have three, so... Did I power up this partner? Yes! Azumi! Okay, so three Shine Sprites to get stage two power up. As if there was anybody who deserved the first power up. Double power up, sorry. There go! 30 HP. Hell yeah, Vivian. I really. Ooh, new skill, Infatuate. Blow a kiss to all enemies to confuse them. Alright, nice. Best character. Best girl. Best girl that must be protected at all costs. 
All right, so we got that taken care of. Now, because I really want to save my curiosity, I'm going to go get some Pienta coins, and we are going to try to make that cake. Actually, hold on a minute. I do have a couple of items that I did pick up since I got higher item drop rate. This just means more coins in my pocket. So, oof. I'll sell that. Wait, how much was the bouquet? 12 coins? Oh, that's their only use. Got it. Oh, that's it, thank you. That should be enough coins for right now. At least I'm pretty sure, I can't remember for the life of me how much it costs to get a cake mix for the Pianta coins. I think I need, what was it, 20? Yeah, I wanna get some of these little small things that I really wanna worry about done like right now before I even think about going to jump in and talk to Don Pianta. All right. Hello. I'm gonna have to ask you nicely to get off of that counter, please. Um, how much? Six? Okay, perfect. Right. Okay, uh, ten piantos. Thank you. I want to get... Thank you, I'm leaving. Could you hold my Pianta coins, please? Thank you. All right, the moment of truth. Egg mix plus ruins powder. Ooh, hoping it's good. Unless that was just a fake recipe that that one lady just really wanted to make. I really hope that's not the case, but let's see. What was that? I'm sorry, I hit my head and now I'm having trouble trying to enunciate my words. It's very weird. <laughs> then I'll cook up your cake mix and ruin powder. Yes. What is the mystery thing that that lady was trying to make? That I slaved over trying to figure out what a cake mix was so I can give her that. Hey. Please be something good. Uh-oh. Sorry to keep you waiting. Go on, take it. Heartful cake. A zesty cake replenishes 28 FP, but also softens you. Hmm. I'm guessing softens basically lowers my defense. So if I wanted to use that cake, I would have to combine it with, um... Coop's uh, shell to give me defense buff. Okay. Well, at least I satisfied my curiosity. Heartful cake. Nice. All right. Now let's go talk to Don Pienta. Spin the whole pop on that. Actually, wait a minute. I'm curious. I got my lottery ticket, and I have not once talked to this guy in a long time. I forgot how freaking long it's been. Um, eh, I'll worry about that. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold up, wait a minute, let me put some bullshit in it. What? There we go. You're facing public property. 100% work. I got a shine sprite out of it. And, oh, freaking star shard, baby! Hell yeah! Oh, right, I should probably go to the back, right, of course. Hello, how you doing? Hey there. Off to Don Pienta we go. Sorry, Bobber, I know you don't like it, but we're gonna go talk to him. Pianta, are you okay? Francesca. Oh, poor boss. The big man's been sick with loneliness ever since his daughter skedaddled. Oh, and the boss Frankie is gone. The boss is in shambles. What's a syndicate to do? That scruffy gang of punk thieves is stealing jobs from us left and right. 
right and left. Wait a minute. Hey, but stupid enough about us and our stupid problems, huh? What can we do for you? I need some help. What? Think it's for the rich, rich CS train around? For the express, excess express? Whoa, you want tickets for that rolling wing thing? Oh, ain't nothing we can do about that. Yeah, us giving out tickets? That's rich. You gotta talk for the boss for that. Oh, Francesca. Francesca. I just can't. I just can't stand seeing the boss like this. If we just knew what those newlyweds was, we could take the boss to see them. Oh, I know where they are. Hang on. Those two frondy folk, Frankie and Francesca from Keelhole Key. Whoa, 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 who's on the what now? What did you just say? Repeat that. You know where the young Miss Pienta is at? Yeah. Really? No lie? I swear to you, if you're lying, I will turn you into confetti, so help me. No, I'm serious. They're right over there. They said they wanted to stay over there. Well, if that's where she is, why don't you bring her back here, huh? Be a pal. We'd go ourselves, but we can't leave the boss unprotected, you get me? Yeah, you bring us young Miss Francesca, and we'll do what we can to get your train tickets. We got deal or what? I want the couple to be happy though, but it looks like I'm locked behind this sort of progress, so I kind of have to do this. See, no, that's better. I knew once you understood our predicament, you couldn't refuse. Don't screw this up. Ay ay ay. They're not the nicest freshie people, are they? Not really. Unfortunately, you kind of get used to them. I... Suddenly regret joining this party. I'm not entirely sure I want to get used to the people that you're around. Eh, you'll get used to it. You keep saying that, but I don't think you mean it. I just realized I'm talking to myself in my room by myself. I imagine some people probably think I'm crazy. Actually, I'm pretty sure my neighbors think I'm crazy now that I think about it. Why am I still talking to myself at this point? Why do you people watch me? Am I just that weirdly entertaining or just that freaking weird? Tell me. Am I just a train wreck? I don't know, man. Hey, Papyrus, got a job for you. Yeah, I wanna go, amigo. Ah, muy bueno. That's how it is. Spin around. Oh, here we go. I like this ship. It's a lot nicer than the other one. It has a more <laughs> rustic feel to it. Well, I better go talk to these the lovebirds. They're probably not going to be too happy that I'm going to have to interrupt their vacation. Thank, thank you, Papyrus. At least I hope they're still here. And Mochi's getting in a hell of a workout, though. Hey, where are they? Oi, Captain Stash. What, the Pientos? Oh, they're in the jungle looking for something, I think. Hey, what are they doing in the jungle? Don't they realize it's dangerous? Oh, dear. They're looking... Oh, there you guys are. Oh, hey. Mario. Have you been there, pal? Was something for you? Mm hmm What? The boss is sick. Oh, poor daddy, oh no. And at a time like this. What's wrong? Wait, she lost your ring. Yeah, I, I just noticed that like she was missing a ring. You see, I, I just dropped the wedding ring Frankie gave me around here. I can't possibly leave until I find that ring, otherwise something may eat it. Yeah, it must be somewhere between here and that skull rock. Listen for a second, my fuzzy little coconut. Can we forget about that ring for now and check out the check on the boss? How could you say that, Frankie? That ring was a symbol of our love. We have to find it. We have to. Or maybe you don't love me anymore. Is that it? Well, I mean, of course I love you, my little bacon bird. Who the hell am I to judge somebody's relationship? If she wants to be called his little bacon burger, then I all the more power to you. Of your sweet talk now, you're gonna have to say you love me a hundred times. What well, a hundred times? If you love me, you have to say it, Frankie. Oh, uh, come on now, babe. Of course, I love you, my little short stack. 
Now please, let's go. No! You have to say it 99 more times, Frankie! Oh, fine, you crazy dame. I love you, 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 love you, love you, love you. Ten times. Love you, 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 love you. You, love 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 you, you love you, 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 I 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 love you, Oh god. Okay, I'm not doing that again. Uh, can somebody do that in one breath? I don't think I can. Oh. Uh, I said it. Oh, Frankie, babe, you're such a silly Billy. <laughs> you, 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 honey, you just tortured me. Uh, no, my little cream puff. Let's find that ring right away. What do you say? Ah, you think these guys are gonna be all right looking for that thing on their own? Listen, Mario, we better play it safe and help them, don't you think? Mm-hmm. Oh, I was thinking about it. Yeah, I'll help them look. Between here and Skull Rock. Okay. Well, if that's the case... I can't bash any of these trees. I did not mean to jump. Alright, Vivian, let's try your new attack. Red. Press A, the instant a heart appears above over the enemy. The instant, okay. Wow, that's very tough to pull off. Okay, um. If I can get the timing right, I'll be able to pull that off much better. But... Mm. That's something. Ow! I can bite her. I don't, on the other hand, I don't, I don't want ah. Wait, is that it? God, that is so tiny! That could be easily missed! A pricey ring, the symbol of Frankie and Francesca's love. Like, damn, you could actually really miss that. Such a tiny little blue speck. Huh. I mean, I'm glad I found it. But so damn, so damn tiny. Tell you what, that shit was tiny as fuck. You. What's my bonus? Grant me. Increase star points. Oh. Oh, absolutely perfect time. Damn right. Okay. So. Oh, I see. One more level up and I'll probably be maxed out on badge points, I bet. But if they... You know that... 39 would be a weird way to end it, though, wouldn't it? Anyway, I, let's see, I don't have any flower. I got flower saver, but that's... Uh, I could go... I could go for some actual offense. You know what? For right now, I'll go for at flower point bonus. I'll go for that. There. Oh, my God, you cheeky little asshat. Are you proud of yourself? Do you see yourself, like, being exceptionally happy for the actions that you have committed against me? Do you feel joy? 
Do you feel any sense of accomplishment for what you have done? That's the question that I have to ask for you, you cheeky little flowers. Do you feel joy in the cardinal sins that you have committed against you? Against me, the great Mario. Do you feel happy about yourself? Because I just killed you. Oh wait, I didn't kill you, I knocked you out. You know, it makes sense that Mario doesn't actually... A comment kind of brought this out. It kind of makes sense that Mario doesn't actually kill people. That's a vulture. He doesn't actually kill enemies. He just knocks them the fuck out. But, you know, it would, it would take too much just to animate that stuff like that. You know, with them running away. It would take too much. Anyway. Oh, hey. That's it. That's it. That's the ring. That's the ring you found it, pal. Frankie, now I can go home to Daddy. Joke in, my little cheese and cracker. Let's go. Well, so anyway, we'll be down at the dock. Hurry back, please. Oh, those two are just the cutest. Also, I'm pretty sure they just faded out of existence on my left side, so that's fair, I guess. <sighs> oh, those two are just as cute as a button. Found the wedding ring they was looking for. That's cooking. Cooking. Yeah, I want them kids to be happy. You forgot your accent for a little bit there. Yeah, I know. It takes a little bit to get into it. Don't judge me. Oh. Oh, this island escape was quite a delightful little joy. Okay, Mario. I think we're ready, pal. Yeah, we are. Let's go back to Rogueport. Oh, Daddy, please hang on until we get there. Congratulations, he dies. You're the new Don. I turn around, part of me go! All right, Bruno, we are off. Gas off, me amigos. The wrong part. Flip. Such an easy job. I'm gonna just flip it around and never do the trick. It's a big dude. Let's be fair. What the hell was I doing with my voice there? I think I was swapping over to Flurry for a little bit. Oh, actually, Sister Bikini, that was also the other voice that I gave her as well. Anybody that's not watched my Phoenix Wright series will probably not get that freaking that there's a character named Bikini. We have to go see Daddy immediately. You got it, Francesca. Oh, that was certainly weird. Just a little bit. Oh, I can see them running. Oh, that is so cool. They could have just had them fade out of existence. No, they actually animated them just kind of like escaping. Or not escaping, but heading in that direction. They didn't have to do that, but I'm glad they did. Good on you, game. Good on you. Thank you, Paper Mario. You continue to impress me. In the best way possible. Anyway, let's go talk to the Don. Hello, Kitty Cat Boo. Wake up! Open your eyes! Boss! You alright? I know you're not dead. Francesca. <gasps> Daddy! Boss! Oh, my little Francesca. Came back for me. And you too, Frankie. Of course we did, Daddy. As soon as we heard you were ill, we dropped everything and rushed back. Francesca. Frankie. I was wrong. A stubborn old man. Forgive me. I know I may regret saying this, but I want the two of you to stay here. With me. I can't bear to be away from you two crazy kids. I'm an old man now. I need peace. I guess the time has come for me to stop being so selfish, causing everyone trouble. Looks like even Don Pienta, the dawn of untimely death, can't escape the old age. Time has come, everyone. I'm gonna retire. Was I right? Are you gonna let Frankie inherit everything? Bull boss, really? Oh, it's time. I mean, I called it! I fucking called it! <laughs> uh, I called it. Bo, oh, it's time. I mean it. And I want you to be my successor, Frankie. 
What do you say, Frankie? As of today, you are the new head of the Pienta Syndicate. Uh, what? B the boss, you still got it in ya. You. You're a spring chicken. You don't gotta do this. And I mean, m me? B boss. Oh, you're the one, Frankie. I've been thinking that for a long time now. You'll do just fine, kid. I got a feeling about you. A good one. I want you to take care of Francesca and the rest of the syndicate, the way I did. Boss! You, Mario. Looks like you've done yet another favor for me, kid. Oh, it's a... Uh... Yeah! Uh, about that, boss. Oh, this is gonna be just beautiful, I know it. What did you guys do? Well, uh, we kinda promised him something, boss. We told him we'd get him a ticket for the Excess Express if he brought you your daughter. <laughs> Whoa, is that all? <laughs> oh, you had me worried for a second. Ah, oh, come on over here, Mario. How many you want? One, two, ten? Help yourself. Wait, really? A ticket for the Ritzy train to Poshley Heights. The train ticket. Thank you. Whoa. You come back anytime you like. How about that? Well, uh, now that I've retired, I've, I'm gonna get out of here. Daddy! Boss! You're the boss now, Frankie. You got that? You, the boss. You do good now, Frankie. We've got lots of work to do, and don't worry, I'll keep you in line. Sweet Bean, come on. Knock it off with the pet name nonsense, will you? Call me Francesca! Oh? Huh? Fr Francesca? Yes, or Miss Boss. <laughs> uh, uh, underboss. Uh, uh, I mean, boss. You got a loyalty. We'll be by your side whenever you need us, boss. Thank you so much, Mario, for everything. You're welcome here anytime. You're like a brother to me. You ain't bad, kiddo. Yeah, you ever think about joining up with the syndicate? It's the life, kid. Will you good? Okay, okay, listen, Frankie. I realize you're the boss now, but I have a very important question for you. I, there's a particular Goomba that's kind of chasing after me. I need you to protect me if I forgot to... Well, what's wrong? I... I hear her. I think she's outside the door. Scared. <laughs> oh dear lord. We owe you big, Mario. We always seem to be in your debt, you know. If there ever is anything the Pienta Syndicate can do for you, just say the word. Frankie and I are going to keep the Pienta Family Syndicate together. And maybe we'll start our own family. Oh, what am I thinking? <laughs> Ah, oh, that is so cute. Oh, that's so cute. But seriously, about the bodyguard thing, I'm just... <laughs> Sorry. I got the shivers again. <sighs> okay, let's all go. Let's, uh... uh... Let's go on the train. Okay. For all serious... Oh. Yes, yes, yes! We can go on to Parsley Heights! Yes! That six crystal star is good as ours! Hmm. <laughs> I heard that, my uglies. It's her, isn't it? That's the only one who would probably be that mean-spirited. So, the Christ six crystal stars in Parsley Heights, is it? That's a rather nice piece of information. Thanks ever so. I knew it! Hey, you're that Beldum! You keep beating up Vivian, I'm gonna kick your ass! Normally, this would be where I finally deal with you and that homely traitor, Vivian. But something tells me that trying that alone might be unwise, so you live. For now. Instead, I'll just beat you to Parsley Heights and get that crystal star before you do. Oh, I wonder what the dialogue would have been if I had Vivian out here. Damn, I missed an opportunity. But, oh, I mean, I mean... Ugh. I wonder what their reactions would be. <laughs> That sounded bad. We gotta get to Poshley Heights before that witch. Let's make tracks for Roadport Station. Okay, now anyway, like I was saying, um, it's pretty much no secret that I, 
uh, am playing this on a legitimate GameCube. I am 100% playing this on the legitimate GameCube. And there's an infamous issue, apparently, I, I've been informed that there will be a section of the game involving a train that might be a bit of a problem. So here's what we're going to do. I have saved progress in case something happens. Now let's see. Hope and pray that nothing bad happens here. And if something bad happens, we will work through this together. Who's emailing me? Who? Are you, are you Mario? Did this email, did you get this email? Look, technology freaks me out, so if you're not Mario, please destroy this email, okay? But if you are, uh, thanks for saving my captured friends. I figure I'd share a hot tip with you as thanks, so here it is. There's still lots of treasures in Creepy Steeple. Of course, knowing you, you probably already found it all. Ah, so useless. Well, enjoy your not so useless adventure, the Creepy Steeple Boo. Aww. Aww, that's nice. Now, if only you guys would not troll me. This train is bound for a luxurious partially hides. We'll be born today? Wonderful. Don't mind, please let me check your ticket. Here you go. Well, watch that, please. All aboard. Okay. All aboard. Here we go. Everything works well. Chapter six. Three days of excess. Chapter six already. My God, man. Okay, everything looks stable. Mario's room. Ah, uh, yeah, the Excess Express! This is so deluxe, man! The three days to Poshley Heights are gonna be over like that! Oh. Hmm. Hmm? What's wrong? Huh? Hey, you see that? Something on the floor! When did that get there? What'd you find, boy? Don't go to Poshley Heights. Get off the train now or a sticky yummy doom awaits it. Oh. Sticky yummy? Oh, what a freaky threat. You don't think this could be Beldum's work, do you? Whoever the psycho is, you gotta figure out. You gotta figure they're on this train, right? Gotta get this now before anything bad goes down on this train. Oh, yeah. Okay. I think for my own voice safety, that's enough mochi. Hold up. Yes. Ooh, I like this. We have a whole new asset area to explore. Hi. Hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is a dining car where you eat and stuff. Some people take this train just so they can eat our yummily fabulous food. In this trip, we have a super famous actor on board, Zip Toad. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm totally swooning. I so hope he comes here to eat soon. Okay, that's the waitress of the Excess Express. Kind of spacey. You know, I think she's an okay waitress. Probably not, but guys always go for girls like this, don't they? Why is that, Mario? And you're not gonna go for that kind of girl, right? No, not at all, not at all, actually. Nope, 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 100%. Okay, good. Okay, just making sure. Hello. Oh, there's a shop on here too. I mean, I guess that makes sense. What the? That's a that's boo. Hello there. I am Chef Shimi, the culinary expert. Glad to make your acquaintance. Uh, I mean acquaintance. So sorry. Cheap, cheap is my first language, you know. But this lunch is so amazing it'll make your tongue cry out in shame. Please do taste it so that my passion does not wither alone in a pot of loneliness. This is Chef Shimi, the cook aboard the Excess Express. He cooks for everybody! I can't figure this guy out. 
I have no idea if he's joking most of the time. Yeah. All right, let's take a look. Oh my god, that was cool. Makes you invisible, so attacks against you miss. Oh. I'll go for that. That's a sales style owner. You can buy and sell things here, obviously. Yeah, it's about the only thing cooler than traveling is traveling and shopping. Fair enough. Buy lots of items to increase your shop points. 300 points and the gold bar times three gift. Right. I'm, only, I'm not even up to 100, uh, you know, points yet. I'm not, fuck. Okay, um. Okay, so far so good. Everything's doing pretty well. I'll go check the other side later. Look through here first. Okay. What the fuck are you doing in my room, Bass, eh? I'm on my way back home. I've stayed so long, I haven't forgot what it looks like. That's Pennington, a train passenger. He says he's a detective, but I don't know. I mean, why detective types, two types always show up when something goes wrong, huh? You know what, that's a good question. Why do detectives always show up like that? It's almost like it's a bit of a cliche or something. Hi. You're not the rat I'm looking for, but... I have a very important deal to attend to once we arrive in Parsley Heights. I'm traveling on business, so everything goes on the expense account, yes. He's a Ratui businessman. He's on the Excess Express for business. Obviously. I bet he's putting everything on an expense account, huh? Is that a fringe bit of it? I have no idea. I'm too scared of the IRS or anything like that to figure out all that shit. What? Wait a minute, does the, does the king, <gasps> these guys! Oh, you're the champion of the Grits Pit, are you not? Yes, the Great Gonzalez. Down for Parsley Heights? Well, certainly is a fitting place for a celebrity like you. Run and road to Parsley Heights to buy a birthday present for little Bob here. Ah, oh, <laughs> my, my, my. God, Bob, and we're gonna get a birthday present for me and it'll be cool. Are you jealous? I have a hammer, and I could hit the child, but I'm not going to. As tempting as it might be. Hello to you all, welcome to the XX Express. I'm the conductor of this train. And I trust you must be Mr. Mario from Room 5. Make yourself at home, sir. Oh. Hmm. What's that? Some sort of sticky, yummy threat? Uh, I see, good gracious me. If I hear anything else, I'll let you know immediately. Oh, okay. Well, that was easy. That was easier than expected. Much easier, actually. <sighs> I won't lie, this train looks really nice. Hmm? I thought I was going to have a nice lunch on my expense account. Black. This is truly unfortunate. Almost tragic, really. Oh, that's a girl. Who? Oh, I didn't see you. Who the hell are you? I'm dying for a taco guy. Can you sweep with some grub real quick? What? They took the whole pot? Really? Oh, the whole deal? This isn't my, my contract. Okay. Oh no. The dip toad is here and everything. No! My life is totally ruined. Dip toad, huh? Also, there are footprints or drip drops. So somebody drip the drop and drop a drip. Hmm. Yes, I say without the slightest hesitation that this smells like a case to me. How much have we got? This is the question before us. Yes, what do you want? Yes, the case of the pot of the super stew that vanished suddenly and mysteriously. You could have just said the case of the missing pot or the case of the running stew. I don't know. Hey, Jay, that would do nicely. I'm better at naming shit than you. Hmm. I did train passages. This is a full fledged mystery. I'm gonna pack you all. What a mystery! The mystery you just said, and um, exactly what kind of dish is that? Dude. I'm known as Pennington. You likely would not have guessed it, but I'm a, I'm a detective. At the risk of immodesty, I say I have a certain nose for these things. And this little conundrum, my dear fellow passengers, poses no challenge to me. Ooh! Then to clue this case, what's the most vital one as it happens? Is that our perpetrator took the whole pot? Stew and all. And this, seen friends, 
Please me to believe that the one responsible is you, my gluttonous woman. Huh? What? Me? Are you totally cuckoo? I have like no idea what you're talking about. Um, pardon me. Sorry. So my apologies, my dear woman. I felt the need to protect my accusation skills. You understand? Yeah, sorry. Well, you're an asshole. Yeah, you're kind of an asshole. See, look, you already pissed her off. Good job. You pissed off the purple girl. Are you happy? Also, the, the one wearing pink, I think that's a dude. If that is a dude, I fucked up. Very good. Now let's get serious, shall we? As I believe, be case worthy of my intellect. Um, yes. Let me get this straight. So what we know so far is that we don't know who the culprit is. And uh, I guess that's about it, right? Duh, it's seen as total squares. Forget you guys, I'm going back to my room. Hmm? You there! In a bit of a hurry to get back to your room, eh? You, sir, are highly suspicious. I have just the broken this case. The true culprit, I believe, is Zip Toad the actor. Wait, you're Zip Toad? Zip Toad? The Zip Toad? No! Way, Mr. Detective Person! You're just making stuff up, you you Tweety geezer! I don't go to Twitter? What the hell are you talking about? Oh, Tweety, wait a minute. Oh, never mind. Geezer? Ge geezer? No, oh, I can't say I deserve such a terrible thrashing, but now well, then, who did, who did do it? Mm -hmm. This puzzle depends with every confounding step. I think I can solve this a lot better than you say. Blue! There are traces of something on the carpet. Hey, this totally looks like the spilled stew on the carpet. You can follow the trail of the thief, Mario. Hey, it might even be the same person who wrote that sticky yummy thread one. What makes me say that? A Goomba's intuition. Or a psychotic killer's intuition. For my own safety, I'm gonna side with Vivian. Just to be fun with my own safety. So many clues. Napkins and plates are neatly arrayed here. Arrayed. Huh. Oh boy. Ruben Forest. What? That's not even funny. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <gasps> what do you want? Sorry about that. No, what were you just saying? A pub in the kitchen? Oh, I get it. Food gets stolen, you blame a chubby guy. Not nice. What? Drops a stool on the floor outside? No, no I wouldn't know anything about that. No, people still spill stuff. And there's nothing in the drawers, so I need to look. You won't find the thing. Umbella? Yes? Could you examine him for a minute? That's hefty, the gourmet toad. I think it goes more for quality or quantity. Yeah, he's definitely here for the food, not for the ride. It's all sorts. Hmm. I can double the agree. There are several gourmet food magazines here. One of them is an issue devoted to the food of the Excess Express. There's a large photo of Chef Shimi on the cover. His smile is just blinding. There is something under the magazines. An empty stew pot. This thing looks like it was licked clean. No. Oh, I'm sorry. I ate it all. It was me. That was easy. So you are so enamored of the stew that you wanted to steal them to the dollar mall, and you stole the entire pot when the chef was chopping the shallots. Answer. Yes, yes, that's right. I'm so sorry, but there was a brief moment of weakness. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Just has been served. Very satisfying. May this terrible crime never like recur. And you, my dear sir. Yes, you, the unkempt facial hair. What the? My, my mustache is quite nice. How dare you? My keen through the interesting thing identified you as the correct person to call the ruffian. How about that note in your room? 
Yes, I know of it. As the lone detective on this train, the conductor confided in me. But we cannot speak here. Find me in room six, though we may discuss this in private. Room six, huh? Oh, and please return the pot to the chef if you could. That's what I was going to do, don't worry. Piggy brick. Tomorrow for causing all the commotion. But man, that super scrum diddly umptious. I can't wait for dinner. You already ate. You don't get to eat anymore. Sorry. No, I'm not sorry at all. You don't get to eat anymore, period. For the rest of the train ride. Yerk. All right. You found the bad guy? That's so totally amazing. Here, buddy. So you found the beef. Oh, wait, I mean the thief. Hi, I'm Joyful. There you go, buddy. Ah, oh, so you are the hero of my world. You have even brought my pot. It is empty, of course, but it is mine and I love it. Well, oh, thanks to you, from me. Here is just a little taste of my powerful gratitude. Please fake it. I mean, what must I put in this language so, so shameful? Please take it, I mean. Oh, thank you. Aw, oh, that was nice. Thanks, dude. Very nice. All right. I think I'm going to go ahead and devote an episode to this train, so that is where we're going to stop for right now. If you all like this, be sure to let me know. Looks like everything's running really well, so good. I am totally playing a legitimate GameCube. Anyway, thank you all very much for watching, and, well, I'll see all of you guys in the next video.